Chris Crone here on Limitless TV, and today we're bringing up something super controversial, like, should I actually do business with my family? Hey gang, Chris Crone here, Limitless TV. Today I wanted to bring up a super controversial conversation. Should you consider doing business with your family? So I gotta tell you, I've actually had kind of mixed experience with family members. I had a couple of my siblings that I tried to help with uh, doing some things and making money and real estate and things like that. And I gotta be honest, you know, did the process, everything is planned, but one of the things that I learned is you can't always control the way people feel. I, I can't control their mindset. I can't control what they see as a good thing or a bad thing. And with family members, it can get kind of awkward, but I've got a couple other family members that it's actually worked really brilliant with. Like eight years ago, I started working with my younger brother, Nick. Um, he was young, he was just getting ready to drop out of college and he approached me and he said, Chris, I don't really know if I want to go to college. Like, I, but I'm afraid that my, my family's, you know, our, our parents, our, our siblings are going to roast me for it, my brothers and sisters. And I said, you know what? They will. In truth, I only got my degree because, you know, I don't know if I really would have gotten it. I ended up getting it for sure, though, because I was scared that my mother-in-law was going to be crazy disappointed, didn't think I'd really be able to mount to much or be successful. She just, she had this mindset like I had to have it. So when my brother said that he was going to drop out college, like part of me really admired him for it. And I thought, man, dude, I'm proud of you. That's pretty awesome that you would actually make such a big decision. So I basically said, all right, I'm gonna mentor you, I'm gonna show you how to do real estate. I basically helped him buy his first house. He got to live for free based on that one, started making crazy money on it, found huge equity in it, did it again with another property. And um, he actually just absolutely crushed it. And I had a chance, I had him over at my house the other day. I said, dude, gonna flip up the camera, just let's just shoot a quick video and let's just tell people what your experience was like because dude, you're a family member. I could showcase thousands of people What's it like doing business with family? Well, let's hear it from him. Hey friends, Chris Crone here, and guess what? I have got my younger brother, Nick Crone here. Dude, I'm eight years older than this kid, but this kid is crushing it as an entrepreneur. When he was young and dropped out of college, totally moldable, wanted to know what I was doing in real estate. Dude, what was it about real estate that got you excited in the beginning? Super excited, I knew it was gonna be consistent, great wealth builder. So Nick went on and let's just talk about your first couple of deals because sure. I know that you're still buying houses now and you've gone on to do so much more. But like your first deal, it was a lease option. Correct. Uh, you, you know, we found the, the, the right property. What mm -hmm. did you collect up front when they moved in? So I collected about $5,000 down. Dude, how did that feel? Awesome, because that was about what my mortgage, my, my down payment was on the house. Okay, so you recovered your whole down payment when you bought the house, five Absolutely. grand. Absolutely. And then your total cash flow every month, what were you basically clearing? About 500. So $500 a month, healthy cash flow, held mm -hmm. it for a few years, Yep. sold it, all in all, what did you make on that one? About $55,000. Okay, what did that feel like? Biggest check of my life, man, it was amazing. You had held that property for how long? Just over two years. Okay, so think yeah. about that for just a second, right? Holding that house for two, three years, making $55,000. Okay, then you went on your second deal that you did. Mm -hmm. um, dude, on that one, dude, that was a sweetheart crusher home run. It was a home run. Um, that was a house that you actually lived in for a while and rented out the basement and then eventually moved out. Correct. What did you click down payment on that up front? So I collected $5,000 down on that one, about $600 a month in cash flow above the mortgage. Okay, dude, and, and this is the drum roll finale because you held this home for <laughs> how many years? It was under four years. Okay, so you held this house for less than four years. Yeah. All in all, the down payment, the cash flow along the way, what did you make total on this house? About a, north of 120000 Okay, $120,000 on a deal. I'm just gonna just say right now, dude, that is freaking that was a home rock run. star awesome. That was a home run. For anyone that's out there thinking about working this lease option system mm -hmm. that I've been doing for 15 years, you know, the hundreds of millions that we've done in real estate mm -hmm. and all the ways that we've helped people, if, if someone could work with me or my team to, to help them do what you did, is it something that you'd recommend? Absolutely. It's shortcuts, I knew exactly what to do, mentor. What if they're, what if they're nervous? You know what, if, if you're nervous, you're never gonna take action. So either sit on the sidelines or jump into it. Do you, how much do you feel that just even these properties and the ones you've done since, like, how much impact has that had on the wealth that you've been able to build the security for your family? Real estate's all about taking advantage of, of the time that you have now and letting it build over decades. And so if I didn't start as young as I did, I wouldn't have as many properties as I have now. And so, you know, starting as soon as you can, taking action, you can make mon money up and down markets, uh, it's bulletproof. 
Awesome. Hey guys, Nick, I want to thank you for being here and shooting no this problem. little video for me. And guys, I want to just tell you, if you're out there and we're working together, you're in the right game. If you're mm -hmm. thinking about it, then, then hop on, join up with the team and get these kind of results. You know, I can't tell you that working with families members has always been the best thing, but what I did with my brother and the relationship that we have and the, now the, the great amount of money that it's made him and how it's set him up for some bigger things in life, like, dude, nothing, nothing can replace that. That's like an amazing feeling for me to know that I could be that for him. Or like my father-in-law, I was able to go out and we've bought dozens and dozens of properties together. And on most of them, we've made a lot of money. It's been a really positive experience. So at the end of the day, if you're gonna go into business with family, I think you need to have the right team. You need to have the right business model. You wanna have the right system. And for any of you that believe that real estate could be that system, I've actually systematized the whole process to make it super easy for you and family members to get together and have what I believe, for the most part, leads to a really positive experience. So check it out. If you wanna do what my brother Nick did, uh, I basically mentor and help people in the exact same way. All the resources that I give him, I'm offering to give to you. If you wanna know what they look like, just hike on over to my website. I can break that down for you. I've prepared something special for you on that and a special guest for even being there and watching more about what that looks like. Otherwise, make sure that you subscribe and catch us on the next video. Take care.